Pathway number six, manage your emotions. Managing your emotions. Try to expand your knowledge of coping strategies, and everybody copes differently with emotions, okay? Try to identify your feelings. You can talk to a friend. You can talk to your spouse. You can talk to your children. You can talk to whoever it is you're comfortable talking to. If you don't have a safe person to talk to, if you don't have that person in your life, a therapist or a counselor can be that person. There is no judgment here. Okay? If you've got to get that out, you have to be able to talk it out. Okay? So practice journaling. I don't know if anybody in here journals. Um, I've tried it. Um, but if you have never tried it, just try writing, just sometimes the act of writing something out and purging it out of yourself is a coping strategy. It can be a management tool. Okay? Practice that positive, encouraging, compassionate self-talk. Okay? Be gentle on yourself. We're all, we've all got a list of things to do a mile long. Try to be, try to be compassionate to yourself, you know, in addition to other people. Practice mindfulness, acceptance, thought-stopping techniques. When you catch yourself in a negative kind of tailspin, okay, where one bad thing happens and you're like, okay, now you're, you know, you're thinking about all the bad things that are going to happen and this, you know what, it's, it's raining today, but it's only on me, right? You're having one of those days. Practice those thought-stopping techniques where you can stop yourself and say, you know what, everybody out of the pool for a minute and reset, you know, reset yourself because that, down, that downward spiral of those, those negative thoughts, that isn't going to get you anywhere. That isn't going to get you anywhere, okay? So find some positive, healthy distractions. What can you do to take your mind off of what's ailing you, you know? Those downward thoughts, what can you do to, to just distract yourself, you know? Find something to, to get your mind off of it. I bake cookies. I'm a, I'm, I bake cookies, okay? They're not the best cookies. I'm not the best baker in the world, but you know what? I love to bake. And so I will just take a, a, an hour and go and bake a batch of something, okay? So find some sort of healthy distraction. Use self-expression through art or a pleasant activity, like cooking, like that's what, that's what mine is, you know? But find something, those things that you love to do. Remember we just talked about what do you do for fun? You can utilize that as your distraction, okay? Know your triggers and your limits. What triggers you to get into that mindset, okay? And this is just a good tip that I've, I've taken this and applied it to my life. Know the triggers and limits of the people that you interact with the most. I do it with my husband, you know. I know what I can say that will get done what I need him to do, you know. If I need him to go do something, he could sit on the couch for another hour and watch his show or do something. But I know what I can say that will, and I know that's a trigger for him. So be mindful of those things, okay. Maybe I don't need to utilize that quite so much, okay. So know your own triggers and know your limits, okay. So, know how you cope with emotion. Everybody copes. Maybe you cope well, maybe you don't, but everybody copes, okay? Maybe you cope in a healthy way, and maybe you don't, okay? There's different ways to do that. Try to identify that person you can talk to when you're overwhelmed with emotion, okay? What if, what if that person's not here anymore? What if that person is gone? That person that you used for 50 years, you know, what if they're not here anymore? Um, how do you identify someone new? How do you identify someone that, that can be that person for you? You can't just not have that person, okay? So really start thinking about that. Try to figure out what your thought-stopping technique is going to be. And know your limits. I've said that a couple of times, but know your limits. And know how you can see them coming before they get there, okay? Where you're over, you're overwhelmed. You've got all these emotions kind of running around, and you know that you're going to get to the edge here pretty quick, right? You're going to come to your breaking point pretty quick. Try to be able to foresee that and say, you know what? Like I said, everybody out of the pool for a second. Let's regroup. Let's restart. Okay? I restart a lot. I have to simmer down, right? Simmer down. Regroup. Okay? Number 